some drunk Americans crash their boat into the jetty. <laughs> Nub Nation, good morning. We are cutting in late. And the reason that we're cutting in late is because we got back from New England last night. We're tired. What's the claim, Jordan? Um, the claim is I'm tired, but, you know, we're back in the car. Always <laughs> going somewhere. So, we saw on Facebook, our boy, Bob McClay, posted a clip. Not a clip. A photo of a boat stuck up on a jetty right next to the surf. So, the plan right now is to head to the location find the boat, get shacked next to the boat crash. I don't know how this happens, but this is the second time in my life I've seen this go down. People get their boats lodged on top of jetties in New Jersey. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I do know this. There is a full blown nug roping down the jetty <laughs> next to this boat crash. So as the novelty king, it is my civic duty to go ride a wave next to this boat. Let's go do it. Yeah, we're back at it. 9.09 a.m. Not even cutting in that late. So, hope you guys are stoked. Hope you guys are pushing forward in your lives to live your dreams, follow your passions, and keep the stoke up because that's what it's all about. So, thank you guys for everything. And uh, it kind of sounds like I'm ending the video right now, but I'm actually starting it. So, let's go. Novelty boat crash. You. The update is that these guys crashed this boat into the rocks last night about 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. Some drunk Americans crashed their boat into the jetty. <laughs> There's my wave. Are they in trouble? Heavy claims. Heavy, heavy claims. Dude, they had to do it to them and put the no parking sign up. They had to do it to them. <laughs> they had to. All right, the heavy claim. This is the moment of truth. First time ever surfing next to a boat crash. Actually second, but, well, that's weird. Third boat crash I've ever seen in. That's wild, there's so many boat crashes, but never like this. Prime location for a wave. Woo, let's go.
absolutely nailed that. Showed up. <gasps> oh God, cover your map. We showed up. The waves were so clean. Perfect dream runs right next to the boat. And then eventually the wind came on shore, but not after I got a couple of dreamers under my belt. So the boat crash surf session, something I've been trying to do for years. Every boat crash I see, I want to surf next to it. And today just so happened to work out perfectly. So the dream is real and the day is still young. So we are going to continue the journey momentarily. Yoo Yoo! Yeah, brother! <laughs> Later skater. You're not catching that? You <laughs> knew I wasn't gonna get that. Why wouldn't you catch that? Because why would I think you're gonna catch it? You see that? That was that was sick. Tiana Bazidlo, Lancaster, Massachusetts, your stickers are on the way. For the dream. Did that go in? Yeah. It sounded like it No, I missed. Thanks. All right. As you guys just witnessed, we went to the hardware store and we got some rope. Pretty excited about this. We got all these buoys. Authentic. We picked them ourselves off the beach in New England. Check them out. And we're going to put them up on the porch as a display. Stoked about it. All right, so I think we're pretty much done phase one here. We got red and white, the one that says gravy on it, the old dog, yellow number three, orangey, perps and yells, big perps, yellow number one, old whitey with the fish. So we're looking pretty legit and there's more to come. Now we're gonna put them on the, like make an L shape and kind of have them hanging down like, I don't know. All right, it's vibe -sty. I love it. Dunzo Magunzo. You guys have some muscles down with us. Hello, Ben Gravy here. You might recognize me from my viral video on TikTok where I ate astronaut food for the first time ever. Welcome back to the first ever episode of Don't Buy Stupid Sh on TikTok. I really hope that this is the last episode ever because I plan on stopping buying stupid shit on TikTok. But yes, we've fallen prey to the dangerous game. Mine is at Ben Gravy with two Y's and Jordan's is at J Verney. Pretty close to our Instagrams, but you can find us both on TikTok. Everybody gets ads. We all get ads scrolling through our feeds. Sometimes you're just like, what is this? Why would they advertise this to me? 99% of the time, you click away. You're not worried about it. That 1% of the time, that 1% of the time can get you. You see that ad and you say, wow, this has got to be the most amazing thing I've ever seen on the internet. It's happened to me. I was scrolling through TikTok, minding my own business one day, and all of a sudden I saw these people underwater behind boats having fun. They're going like 40 miles an hour underwater. They had this little plastic machine, a marine diving motorized little James Bond 007 thing that they were literally just ripping underwater, just like going across the ocean underwater. I bought it, $129.99. Thank God I got the 50% off buy now price. So I got this thing for 60 bucks. $65. I was waiting for this thing for three months. You know what they sent to my house? A f***ing float! A $65 float! I have no idea where this email is. I have no idea where I punched the information is. So pretty much, I don't have a receipt. I don't have anything. I'm stuck with a $65 float. Thank you very much, TikTok. One day I had a sore neck. I was sitting on the couch going through TikTok. All of a sudden, this electric acupuncture gun came across my feet. I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be my saving grace. This is what's gonna fix the pain in my neck. So I bought it, $39.99. They give you a little thing of gel that comes with it. It runs out in like six minutes. And then you're just stuck there, shocking the shit 
out of yourself. With this electric pen, it literally does nothing except for burn your skin. It is not for acupuncture. Why? Why'd I buy this? This thing was $20. Who's gonna give me a fake $100 bill? Why? My crowning achievement, something that I overpaid for on TikTok that actually works. I was scrolling through TikTok one day while sitting on my couch and I had a sore lower back. Now I stretch every day of my life. I came across this stretching mechanism. This thing, as ridiculous as it looks, this goes on your foot and then you stretch holding this so you pull your foot above your head and this thing actually works. Should I have paid $29.95 for it? Absolutely not. But did it work? Yes. Don't buy stupid shit on TikTok unless it's this thing. All right, so I've been undercover, like kind of blowing up on TikTok. Not many people now. Um, so I wanted to show everybody my TikTok. This is it, at Jay Verney. Right now I'm at 1,008, how do you say that? 1,008. 1,088 followers. Um, pretty lit, pretty lit. But I will say that I have been having some viral videos. Um, one of Ben eating astronaut food is at 422,000 views. And then I have some other ones, you know, like our engagement, 47,000 views, 38, Ben in the hot tub. You know, we're just, we're just killing it over here. So, you know, follow, follow me on TikTok. That's your plug? That was my plug because it's blowing up. <laughs> it's not, but it, it's fun. <laughs> you making dinner? Couple pretzels before dinner. Always gotta have an appetizer. This is my appetizer. What is this? These are famous. Famous what? Everyone talks about them. Trader Joe's, cauliflower, and yaki. All right, we're getting ready. Jay Vern is having her appetizer. But here's what I wanna claim right now. I'm gonna give a couple shout outs real quick to a couple people who purchased El Salamo gear. Who do we got, who do we got? Janine Healy, thank you very much. Jack Wolf, you legend. Grace Bredo, you legend. Troy Taylor, big dog. And we're gonna do one more. Kimmy Kelly, thank you guys for purchasing. We got all these t-shirts here. And these things are gonna go like hotcakes. So to everyone who bought something, thank you very much. And to everyone who is thinking about buying something, we appreciate it. We appreciate the stoke. El Slamo is probably one of the most epic things that ever happened to me in my life. So it's special to share the El Slamo with you guys and make a t-shirt out of it. This is limited edition. Once these are gone, they're going to be gone forever. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for the stoke. If you guys are enjoying the videos and you're not subscribed, you can subscribe down below. You can also like this video and leave a comment in the comment section below. Short vlog today, but we got waves tomorrow. What's up? I'm saying, why don't you put on? Why don't you put in your best El Slamo wave ever? Right now. Mm-hmm. All right, this is my best El Slamo wave ever. <laughs> oh! What do you think? I was just saying, don't have to be bratty. <laughs> What'd you think about it? It was sick, but you're bratty. All right. Thank you guys for all the stoke. I lost my train of thought. But we got some waves on the way, and we got a special surprise coming up on Thursday. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Nub Nation for the win. For the dream.